I love soccer, and that got me wondering how players use energy to move the ball with incredible speed and what kind of energy it takes. Here's how it works. My body is made up of muscles, joints, tendons, and bones, which all work together to help me kick this ball. But how does it move when I do? A motionless ball has potential energy, which is converted to kinetic energy when kicked or moved. But it gets a bit more complicated than that, as there's more than one type of potential energy. By kicking the ball, I am transferring the kinetic energy from my body to the ball, which causes it to move through the air. Now, the ball can't fly through the air forever due to gravity, and once it has reached the point where gravity is more than the kinetic energy, it will begin to drop. This is gravitational potential energy, which is the energy of an object being moved to Earth by gravity, and is measurable with this equation. So how is this related to kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is a property of an object in motion and is affected by mass as well as speed. It is measured using this equation. And instead of trying to show you this one myself, I will show you an example using pro footballer Kevin De Bruyne's 70 mile per hour goal in 2021. So we know the velocity of the ball is 70 miles per hour, which is equal to 31.29 meters per second. The mass of a soccer ball is 0.41 kilograms. So when we put this into our equation and do the math, we get 200.7 joules of energy. This is enough to power a 100 watt light bulb for two seconds. What an amazing shot. And it gives you an idea of how kinetic energy manifests. Potential and kinetic energy systems are all around us. And soccer is just one example to be found.